how to make chicken laksa noodle soup. First off, we're going to make the laksa paste. To do that, we need to blitz up the ginger, onion, garlic, chili and lemongrass in a food processor. I don't have a food processor so I am using this chopper. Make sure you peel off the outer layer of the lemongrass stalks and only use the green part when we are blitzing it up. Save the white part of the lemongrass stalk for later. At this point, I'm going to add a bit of vegetable oil just so that it will be easier to form more of a paste. Ideally, you should have a paste if you can use a food processor, but in my case, since I don't have one, we're going to have to use this instead. This paste, I'm not using any dried shrimp. Uh, instead, I'm going to use some nori seasoning or you can use roasted seaweed instead. Next, we add in all the spices, which is the turmeric, the paprika, and the ground coriander. If you have cumin, you can put some in as well. And then we mix it up and set it aside. Now on to the ingredients that make up the chicken broth. We're going to mince up some of the garlic, ginger, chili and the lemongrass. So for the lemongrass, we're using the white part of the lemongrass stalks that we set aside. And we're going to mash it all up and set it aside till we start making the soup. chicken broth ingredients into a pan and bring it to a boil. Once done, discard the bones, shred the chicken and keep the broth aside for later. Now moving on to the chili oil, we're going to mix all the ingredients together in a bowl and then set it aside. The final element is the bean sprouts which is just boiled in salted water and strained. All the components are now ready and we're finally ready to make the laksa. Add the oil onto a heated pan and then add in the ginger, garlic, chili, um, lemongrass paste. Stirring continuously, cook it for about 1 minute or until it starts to become fragrant and then add in the remainder of the laksa paste. Again, stirring continuously, cook it for a further 2 minutes until fragrant. At this point, we add in the chicken broth that we set aside. Along with a few te teaspoons of the chili oil that we made. can 
which is 400 ml of coconut milk uh, add it a bit at a time to adjust to your preferences in this case i added the entire can and i'm going to finish it off with a few dashes of fish sauce and then we're going to mix it all up and then place a lid on top and let it simmer for a few minutes switch off the stove and this will be the point where you add in the tofu close it with a lid and leave it for about five minutes I couldn't find any tofu in the shop, so therefore, for this video, I'm not adding it. At this point, we adjust the taste to our liking. I'm going to add some lime just to make it a bit more sour. Uh, you can add some fish sauce if you want it to be a bit more salty. I'm using the ready-made Hokkien noodles. Uh, so I'm going to prepare it as per the package instructions. Oops. So it says to add boiling water and keep it for 2-3 minutes and then strain. Finally, we're on to assembling. Split the noodles into two separate bowls and add in the chicken pieces on top. Once done, pour over the laksa broth along with the tofu if you had added it in. Top it off with a handful of bean sprouts on top and then garnish it with some freshly sliced uh, red chilli, coriander and some lime wedges to serve. There you have it, a freshly made chicken noodle laksa soup. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you do end up making this, please do let me know how it goes in the comment section below and see you next time.